If your tank water heater is over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit tanklessmadesimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle, and we're teaming up with Mary's Place doing Kicks for Kids. That's right. Want to make sure those kids in need get a pair of brand new sneakers to call their own. And the money raised from Kicks for Kids going directly to Mary's Place. And they're going to distribute the funds to the kids at Mary's Place centers. Uh, That means they get to pick out their own sneakers. That's cool business, man. Every dollar you donate counts. So even if it's a dollar, it will count. And if you don't have any money, please at least share the link. You can find the link. You can find a way to donate. Just go to KISW.com. Let's play Beat Migs. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. Beat Migs. Don't be a loser. Whoa. Beat Migs. You're a loser. It is time to Beat Migs. It's time to turn down for tequila. Turn down for what? Tequila. Tequila. Have a breakfast margarita. Okay. Yeah. Tequila! Sure, and then get on your Zoom call and just make sure that it's in one of those big cups uh, that nobody knows. It's like a mug or something like that. No, no, no. Don't be the oh, wiser right there. I don't think there. anybody even cares anymore. <laughs> right. I think everyone's <laughs> throwing in a towel. Yeah. You, you know, know what? Say, at least try hard to like get past the first 20 minutes before you start slurring your words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I think I'd be surprised if somebody wasn't drinking. Just everyone's just drinking. It's like yeah. happy hour. This is a business meeting, sir. Sorry about that. It's eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's get to our contestant today. We've got Chris and Chimicom. Chris, are you there? I am. How's Chimicom doing right now? Um, it's Chimicom. <laughs> I believe that's their, their city slogan. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> All right, Steve, get out of here. For those playing at home, Chris will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Chris, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes, but please be gentle. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. In Disney's Pinocchio, what are all the bad boys on Pleasure Island changed into? Uh, what was that? Um, salad. Okay, no, no, well, having Whoa. a hard time hearing you, Chris. Okay, hold on. Is this better? Yeah, so what was the answer? What would you say? Yeah. Oh, this oh. show Two and a Half Men aired wow. on what network? ABC. No. ABC. No. CBS. Yes. Yeah. Who disappeared while attempting to fly around the world in 1937? It wasn't Amelia, was it? Yes, it was. What do you call the rotating rod a rotisserie item is cooked on? Uh, a stick. A stick. Yes, yes. What baseball player was the title character in the movie Steel? Oh, God, I don't know. Pass. What do we call the lower chambers of the human heart? Um, the lower chambers of the human heart. I don't know. Pass. President Jimmy Carter was a member of what branch of the U.S. military? Army. No. 
Maybe. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Four correct. That's what I call a game. That was an interesting experience. I like how Chris approached it. Yeah. She took it on like a warrior. Well, yeah, and it doesn't help when the phone breaks up right at the very beginning. Of course. Yeah, a little bit of confusion. And, uh, well, Steve has his work cut out for him. Steve, are you ready? Oh, yeah! In Disney's Pinocchio, what are all the bad boys on Pleasure Island changed into? Diapers? No? Yeah. (laughs) What the... (laughs) baby brain over there. I don't know. Pampers? No. What the uh, hell? Carolina. Monkeys. No. Oh. The show Two and a Half Men aired on what network? Crap. Uh, CBS. Yes. yes. Who disappeared while attempting to fly around the world in 1937? Was that um, uh, Amelia Earhart? Yes. Nice. Yes. What do you call the rotating rod a rotisserie item is cooked on? Chicken. No. <laughs> Pass. Wow. <laughs> what basketball player was the title character in the movie Steel? Oh, good movie. Shaquille O'Neal. Wow, no. Yes. <laughs> what do we call the lower chambers of the human heart? Is that the aorta? No. The valves? No. The heart skis? No. President Jimmy Carter was a member of what branch of the U.S. military? Navy. Yes. On which continent is Ireland located? Europe. Yes. What title does the leader of Mexico hold? Um, Prime Minister? <laughs> no! King. No! No! One, two, three, four, five! Hold, you hold, win. Hold, 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 hold on! Hold on! Now this could be me, but I could have sworn you asked what baseball player when you asked her. Did now, I? I? I could have heard it wrong myself, but if you did, then you asked her the wrong question. Ooh! Which would lease? I mean, then therefore she lost five to four. Was anybody else in this room paying attention? Yeah, what was I, the question? Uh, I, the question was originally what basketball player now, was the be, title character I, in the movie Steel. I could be losing my mind, but I was sitting there going, is it the Lou Brock? Is it the... Uh, right, uh, we ask her the question. If she gets it right, then it's a tie. So okay. Fair enough. Chris, what basketball player was the title character in the movie Steel? Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah! Wow. She was paying attention because Steve already oh, I was so hoping she was going to get it wrong. <laughs> Chris, you tied. Because, yeah, I have no idea that if I said baseball so awesome or basketball. That would have been so awesome if you won, Steve. I would have said, look, you deserve it, buddy. <laughs> that would have brought me to tears. Uh, I appreciate right. that you were listening, though. Yeah. <laughs> you get yourself, hopefully, a new phone, but I have no idea what the price is going to be. Yeah, and, and we'll figure it out. You hang on the line. And, Rev, honestly, you could have asked the right question. I don't, I don't really know. know. Like, well, sir, I'm sure the textures will... Uh, let us know in the well, thanks in, to Chris for listening to the questions. I'm like Danny and Vicky who get paid to listen to the <laughs> yeah. questions. Yeah, I mean, steal that's works true. both ways, you know, because you can steal a ball in basketball and you can steal a base in baseball. Well, so that's why we're, here's you the know. deal, though. But he's yeah. a superhero, he's yeah. a superhero. It's S T E E L. It was based on the Superman when Superman died and all the new Superman, Super Boys came out. It was steel, he was an old steel worker that turned super. Oh my god, it was, was that good? No. Okay. No, 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 no. It was terrible. About? Look at that still right there. Look at there. that outfit he's got on. Okay. <laughs> they consider it one of wow. the awfully good movies out there. Oh, it might wow. be so bad it's good, but uh, you know what? I watched it in the 90s, and I'm never going back to it. I kind of so. want to watch it today. Is it available anywhere? <laughs> I have no idea. It's got to be available somewhere. <laughs> it's on Netflix? I would, I would hope it's free. <laughs> I, I mean, it probably is. You're going to have to pay for it. I'm if not you, paying. If you've got to pay to watch this, that's it. <laughs> oh, it's available on Amazon Prime Woo! for two bucks. Oh, there you go. Well, You know? Is it going to be worth two bucks to you? Two bucks is money well spent. Okay. <laughs> All right. Please watch I mean, I, it. I buy at for $2 that I never use again. I, That's I can, true. I can drop $2 on a movie I'll never watch yeah, When's the last time you played Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, well, it's you know been what? a month. <laughs> hey, look. For, for, two bucks you can, for two bucks, you can go fall asleep. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, oh, crap. That's Max Steel. That's not just Steel. Oh, that's you get to hold. That, you, oh, that would have been great cool. if you just started watching something completely He's different. Like, wait, wait. Where's where, Shaq in this? I know Shaq's <laughs> in this. Maybe at the end. What the crap, man? What the crap? Sorry, pal. Uh, what do we call the lower chambers of the human heart? I would be guessing. Ventricles. Oh, my gosh. I should have just guessed that. You should have. I suck. I was thinking ventricles. <laughs> I thought, but it can't be ventricles. I knew how to V in it, and I was like, I know it's not the, you know, the V out of your word, but... <laughs> Well, you said aorta, which I was kind of surprised anyway. I didn't think you would get anything out of the heart, so good job on that. Left ventricle, right, right ventricle. God, mm-hmm. I suck. I, I would have lost money. And Shaq's uh, Steel was once on Netflix, but it doesn't look like it's on there anymore. Oh. oh. We'll have to find it on uh, DVD and mail it Maybe it's on Weeby or Tubi or Quibi. Quibi or one of those things. What's yeah. it called? Quibi? Quibi. Quibi. <laughs> it's not going to be on Quibi. Or Shaq's streaming site. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, finally, on Disney's Pinocchio, what are all the bad boys on Pleasure Island changed into? Danny or Vicky? Donkey. Donkey! Donkey! Yeah. Oh. 
because it showed what asses they were. Yeah. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh. Yeah. Because oh. they were doing all the bad things. Oh, that's their fancy way of swearing in those days. Well, you just, uh, yeah, characters and yeah. telling them what And a lot of the textures are chiming in saying that you did say baseball to the call. Okay, so good call. Yeah. Good job, BJ. You're paying attention. And, How about uh, I'm paying attention? Yeah, and we got, uh, we're going to get Chris the prize on that because she was paying attention as well. And of course, I. St- Basically cheated Steve out of his song, so I kind of dig that. Oh, crap. I should have got my song in before I agreed to this. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah. If anyone knows if Shaq's available anywhere to stream or steal, steal. please let me know. Yeah, Shaq might be available to stream anytime you want if you get enough dough. <laughs> What's he doing? These days, probably nothing. Why is, it, why is he not on Cameo? He probably is. Well, if he is, I'd like to know his price because he would be one of the higher ticket items, I'm sure. I gotta imagine he's at least three hundred bucks if he's on Cameo. Well, Shaq the Pug is on Cameo. Oh well, there you go. How much is Shaq the Pug? Shaq the Pug is does not show the price. Oh what the hell? wow, Shaq the Pug is expensive. Oh, temporarily unavailable. Oh, Shaq is retired, just like Shaq. Yep, Shaq the Pug no longer doing Cameo. Let's see, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, I don't think Shaquille O'Neal is not on. Uh... Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's too busy with the general commercials, and he's got a reality show right now. Oh. It's like I don't know if it's like a full series or if it's just like a, a mini series, but I, I noticed that's on like sometimes after wrestling. Oh, because you know, I have the, the carryover on the DVR. I mean, he shows up in some of the most bizarre places, and I just saw Snoop Dogg on the Admiral commercials or General commercials, rather riding in the car. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, so the General's stepping up his game, getting some celebs started yeah. with Shaq, and now Snoop Dogg. And I'm like, wow, who's next? Who's going to be riding with the General next? It's pretty awesome. That General, you know what? He knows people. It's called Shack Life. Shack Life. Yep, docu series. Okay, it's 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 on TV somewhere. On TNT. TNT. Okay, that's a thing. It's TNT knows drama. Yeah, they do. Is that where Conan is too? TNT. TBS. Oh, he's TBS. <laughs> I don't know where anybody is. You can tell I watch both of them. Nice. Oh yeah, it says get to know Shaq as he explores his passions off the court, spending a busy summer touring the world to establish himself as a DJ. Oh, so that's what it's all about. He just goes to different places trying to be a DJ? And then also a partnership with his uh, with a controversial franchise, training with a UFC fighter, uh, raising six children, and expanding his legacy. I wonder what the controversial franchise is that his partnership is. Yeah. Ooh. I, I guess I'll know. have to watch the show. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, you know what? I'll let you get back to me and tell me what you think. You might be waiting a while, BJ. Yeah, I figured as much. BJ and Mix mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker, so I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Wanted, dead, or barely alive. Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions, working or not. Don't trash it, recycle it. Ecycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at ecyclewashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's ecyclewashington.org. Ninety nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle. There's a woman in Tennessee. She caught a guy on video having some sort of a meltdown in a parking lot. The angry guy picked up a shopping cart and he bashed it through the back window of a stranger's car. Here's the audio. Why are you doing? Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at this video, and I mean. It's yeah. crazy, yeah. especially since I guess he was just mad that lady got the last roll of toilet paper and flipped out. Oh, is that okay, what it was? No, that oh, wasn't the okay. reason. That yeah. wasn't the reason. Jeez, I, you know, I could have easily been the reason. I, I just, I mean, the guy just lifts up the whole thing and just slams it against the back of her windshield, just crushes it, and the lady just that that he did that to just drove off. Wow. So of course, like I go on the Facebook and I'm reading the comments, and you get sucked into the comments, right? So, I'm, but you find out a little bit more information. I, I guess just according to these comments, recently got out of jail. Okay. Uh, the woman, she's in chiming in on the video. The woman that was driving the car, and she's like, "Yeah, I don't have a relation with this guy. I haven't seen him in a few years. 
he's the baby daddy of one of my friends. And she thinks uh, that just by seeing her, it triggered him, and he just snapped and, and did that, and I guess the cops arrested him again. I Boy, do you think that was just it, him just seeing her? She had nothing else to say? Really? I mean, that's what she's – I mean, you know, obviously we're only getting one side, but she says, I didn't know what to do. I just – all of a sudden, he, when he saw me, he looked crazy, like he wanted to rip my head off. I have no relations to this dude. I haven't seen him in years. All right, then. Well, he should not be out, he should not be out of jail. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I mean, how did they? How did he get by any sort of screening? To, or it doesn't matter. There's no screening. You know, you uh, there's so there's so much about this is frustrating. Imagine just sitting in your car, you're getting ready to go, and you just see this guy grab a shopping cart and just crush someone else's car. Oh yeah, I would, uh, I would, uh, I would have backed into him. I think I would have just probably like I would have gone into my fight or flight mechanism. I don't know if I would have. I don't know if I would have left. I think I would have said, "Oh, is that how we're going to play?" Maybe I would have driven my car into the guy. He, uh, I don't know. This person probably took the high road and the smart road and just drove off and got the cops involved. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. It's like I said, fight or flight. You know, you hope you can make the right decision because you're right. You're leaving a situation like that's better. But sometimes, you know, man, I don't know. Man, it's just like, what are you doing to my vehicle? Oh, yeah. That's a what the hell moment, though. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. I think this woman, by the way, great journalist, the one that got, actually got it on her phone. Yes. I mean, that's pretty amazing that she was able to be smart enough to go, oh, I think some S is about to go down. Yeah, well, I, I imagine this guy was telegraphing. And once, maybe, do you think he was like walking around holding the shopping cart? Yeah, if you see somebody doing that, yeah, you definitely go, all right, I got to pull out my phone. I don't know where this is going. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, basically what this woman saw. A dude take a shopping cart, bash it through the back window of another car. That is a what the hell moment. So that's what we're asking you. What did you see in public that made you say, what the hell? 206421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Can we hear the audio again? Just yeah. because that's where the whole what the hell part comes in, because that's all this woman could say. Why are you doing Oh my God. What the hell? <laughs> that's the moment. When have you been in public and you were like, what the hell? What am I looking at here? So he says, hey, guys, I just saw a guy taking a leak right out, of, uh, uh, right out in the window at the Winco parking lot. Just whipped it out in front of everybody walking by. Dude, I just saw that actually at uh, Luther Burbank Park. Maybe it's the same guy. Might be the same guy. It's a serial weir. They, we, <laughs> because they have bathrooms at the park. I mean, you got, and if you know the park pretty well, you know where to go. They've got open bathrooms all year long. And here I am walking on this boardwalk, and I see a guy just taking a leak. And I'm like... All right, dude, really? I mean, and I'm a guy that has to go to the bathroom a lot. I've scoped mm-hmm. out the bathrooms. It's like, dude, you've got to know where the bathrooms are. You can't be doing this. You know, people with their kids walking. At least try and find somewhere discreet. Oh, he, yeah, he was like right yeah. on the boardwalk, just taking a leak right off the boardwalk. Like, like a four-year-old that's dropped his pants yeah. and just lets it go. And then, of course, you know, he sees me, pulls up, starts running, you know, he's walking fast away. And then I just see him sitting next to his girlfriend, and I'm like, I feel like going over there and go, dude, seriously, you know the bathrooms are over there. What are you doing? <laughs> You know, I mean, what are you lazy? I mean, what are you honest? But then I was, you know, social distancing. I guess I'm jealous because I'd like to be able to go to the bathroom anywhere I want. <laughs> well, you could get the the pens, man. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! I want to be able to go in nature. Come on, Steve. dude. This might be my favorite text ever. Yeah. <laughs> Two kids, around 10-ish age-wise, were fighting at Universal Studios. Then when while, while, while the parents were holding one down, the other kicked Shrek in the nuts. It was awesome. Whoa. Oh, Poor Shrek. Oh, man. Not in the Twigs and Bettys. That's awesome. <laughs> Is that I mean, awesome? Not for Shrek. No, it's not awesome for Unless, Shrek. Like, uh, maybe his like, costume makes it so he doesn't really get hit in the boys. I hope you're right Hopefully. about that. Can we see uh, the Shrek costume from yeah, Universal I feel like Studios? Do those come with cups or something? I, I, they should. Yeah, I mean, I feel you, might, you probably should wear cups if you got kids around there at that height where they hit you there accidentally. I mean, oh, yeah. it's got that bottom part. It might protect them. Oh, no, that's right in the boys, dude. You can go right up there. So you, I mean, yeah. And I mean, oh, the yeah. flexibility of that kid, he probably had to reach up pretty high to get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. I was well, I was uh, driving home from work the other day in West Seattle, and I saw this probably 85, 90-year-old man walking down the street carrying one of those big wheels of Parmesan cheese, like the ones that are like this big, like 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 bigger than his head. And he was just had it on his shoulder and was walking down the street, and I was like, what the is this guy doing? I want to go party with him, but I can't because he's old and COVID and stuff. But man, Still, he's, he's about to have a cheese party. He's rocking the big, uh, you know, the, the giant size cheese. I didn't know that you could buy those. Like, I thought they were just for show. Yeah. And I, mean, I looked up the price. It was like a thousand bucks. I was like, <laughs> so you, you did a price search on yeah, it? Yeah. That's awesome. Like, I, he had a thousand dollars worth of cheese yeah. that he was lugging around. Walking. Like, had, not that in That had to be heavy, or, too, by the way. Yeah. Oh, you should have, like, hey, chuck me some of that cheese. <laughs> Come me off a slice. Yeah. 
don't know what was happening. But. Chuck me some of that cheese. <laughs> Look at Steve. Steve's like, That's Look, my new single. Chuck me some of that cheese, bitches. <laughs> when I start my hip hop career. I like it. <laughs> Chuck me some of that cheese. Hey. Cheese. Mm. Mm. Chuck me some of that cheese. Cheese. Uh, listen, David. <laughs> oh, right on. I got a flavor flame. Yeah. You're my yeah. Gata. Are you my Gata? Yeah. Uh, think nice. it, uh, Dave, you need some work. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, sorry. I gotta be, I'm, I'm working on becoming a little dicky. I know I'm just Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck me some of that cheese. Yeah, cheese. I think, uh, yeah. Don't think a record contract's coming your way soon. Come on. That's cool. right. We'll just hit SoundCloud, man. We'll be one of those lo fi indie rappers. All right, perfect. <laughs> 206 421 Rock, text us at 77999. How about this text? I saw a dude at around one in the morning mooning everyone that was going through a drive thru. He was right by the speaker box. <laughs> we sat and watched him until the cops showed up. And yes, he tried mooning the cops and then he tried running. He got arrested. Gotta love meth and Everett. Yeah, meth and Everett. Ah, oh, lovely Everett. 206 421 Rock, text us at 77999. Chantel in Lakewood, you are on the rock. Hello, good day. Hello, Chantel. What did you see in public that made you say, what the hell? Well, I used to work out in Spokane, Washington uh, at the STA Plaza. Every night when I would be coming home, there was a lady. We called her Crazy Cat Lady. And one particular day, she had dressed herself from head to toe in a cat print leotard. And you know, there's that perch right above... Uh, right after you enter the door, it kind of looks like a table on the bus. All right. Well, she had climbed atop of that, pl- placed her legs straight up the- in the air, and began to lick herself clean. Oh! That should have been the greatest thing Wildest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. She likes to party. Yeah. She's she a was sp- dead set. <laughs> That's what you call a real spoke animal right there. There's too much catnip oh, in her diet. It's, it's a thing, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. So, that's, did they, uh, I oh. wonder if they did they escort her off, or like did they like try and like throw a ball of yarn and then she ran off the bus? Oh, that's probably what they did. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, throw a ball. Of, yeah, that's exactly what works on people dressed in cat suits. Why do I picture Rev doing this with his cat mask? <laughs> I kind of want to see this. I, me too. Rev, do I don't that? have the flexibility for that. Like I, I can't get my leg up there. I guess yeah. I could like lick my hands or paws and yeah. then like rub my head. <laughs> I say do we do that. a zoom video and just let people just zoom in and out of that if they want. Yes. To. Oh yeah. Yeah. By the time this COVID craziness is over, we want you to morph yourself into a full-on cat. Yes. Please do. That'll be for my OnlyFans. Yes. <laughs> okay. You know what? You probably make a couple dollars yeah. from it. Oh, you will. I'd subscribe. Two zero six four two one Rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. Let's go to Roland in Olympia. Roland, you are on the Rock. Hello. Hello, Roland. Welcome to the show. How about you, buddy? What did you see? Rolly from Oli. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Steve was so happy with that. I was about to ask him, hey, has anyone ever called you Roly? Yeah. And then I saw on there it says from Olympia. I'm like, Roly from Oli. They better. Thank you for taking us through the process of how that came out of your brain. <laughs> I feel like it was a VH1 behind the music. Thanks, yes. man. All right. Hey, Roly from Oli, what you got for us? There we go. Uh, good 20 years ago, I was in Tacoma there waiting to go over I-5 on an I-pass, the overpass there, and... Uh, Sitting with my girlfriend at the time, now wife, and uh, we look over, and all of a sudden, a car's coming up the off ramp about 40, 50 miles an hour, and they continued across us and hit the curb and went Dukes of Hazard style. Um, landed Damn. down in the grass, probably, Whoa. I don't know, good 40 feet, because it was a clover leaf, so they landed down in that middle area. Mm-hmm. Uh, three, three of them hopped out. Three younger kids hopped out, and they tried to like shake the car and get it going, and they were still stepping on the gas and shooting mud everywhere and looked down and all four tires were blown and the rims were just kind of off the car and all four of them got out and ran damn dude that is that, that's a great action movie scene right there did you ever like check the news to see if you could find out what exactly happened i we looked we didn't nothing see anything oh, ever, yeah. that's such Both a bummer and i looked we, we always wondered yeah i would wonder what happened and why that all went down Damn, dude, that's dude, that's just a that's normal. Trippy. That's a normal Tacoma thing. I have seen so many. Like I've literally seen cars inside of buildings. Like they have driven into a building that did not have a drive-through, and just Does up on now. curbs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's so you're, so so you're saying so it's Fast and Furious at Tacoma is what you're saying. It's Fast and Stupid. Oh, okay. Fast and Stupid. That's, I think, the new movie. Slow and Reckless. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me. That, that, that would be me driving Slow and Reckless. They should do a parody of the Fast and the Furious, but have it be a bunch of old people, and it's just Slow and Reckless. 
Oh, and they got it really. They're backing oh. up into stores, not realizing that they were hitting the reverse instead of f- f- drive. Oh, all you got to do is just go down to Florida and just just run a camera. You don't. Need, I mean, you've got the movie right there. Nice. Speaking of the elderly, someone texted an elderly woman was lifting up her skirt and squatting to go number one against the tree in broad daylight. <laughs> okay. She was there with an older guy. I assume it was her husband. He was holding her handbag. I guess so. She didn't go on that. So it's hard for me to know if that person was mentally disturbed or when you get to a certain age, you just got to go where you got to go. And grandma and grandpa just don't give enough. Yeah. I mean, since he was holding the handbag and everything. I but got to go. Go on the tree. Go, okay. Go on the, yeah, Hold I don't my know. purse. I would never think of going on a tree. I'd try to go hide some, maybe behind a tree and go, but on a tree. You know, like a, like, like a cat. A dog maybe they like to dare each other. Maybe like, I bet you can't go on that tree. I'll try. I think we're getting an insight as to what's going to happen when you and your wife get older. Right. No, she would never do that. Oh, I know she wouldn't do it. That doesn't mean you won't dare her. Oh, I would bet her all the time. Yeah, and you would definitely do that. Do that today if you want me to. <laughs> Just make sure you video it. It's got to serve right price. Let's see. I'm telling you, I got. I need new creative ways to zoom that. I literally, I'm going to zoom my friend Steve going to the bathroom on a tree. Who wants it? I'm sure, our company would love that. Oh, they would love it. I, we told you guys to give us some extra content, doing mm. some stuff outside of the yeah. workplace. Get involved with the Zoom technology. We didn't ask for you to have one of the members of the show go number one on a tree. Listen, man, it's what we're all facing. You know, no toilet paper. What do you got to do? You got to go old school. That could be part of my music video for Chuck Me Some of That Cheese. Yeah. Oh, really? You have, you, you're being on the tree. <laughs> yeah. Not sure how that fits in, but you know what? You're the artist. It's you're just, the genius. It's just a day in the life. Oh, it's a day in the life. <laughs> Chuck Me Some of That Cheese. Will I take a whiz on this tree? Almost hey, rhymes. there you go. Yeah. Almost rhymes. All right. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. I have lots of tickets that I haven't paid. Can those be discharged through a bankruptcy? Yes, there are some limits on on what we can do with tickets. Tickets cannot be discharged in a full bankruptcy. In a Chapter 7 case, that won't help you get your license back. But in Chapter 13 reorganization, uh, tickets are dischargeable. Most types of tickets are dischargeable. So you would have to pay back some of the tickets in a Chapter 13 case, but the vast majority of them could be discharged if you complete the plan. And again, you would get your license back right away um, when you filed the Chapter 13 case, uh, as long as the only reason you don't have your license is because of failure to pay your tickets. But if the but if the Chapter 13 process will help you get your license back and repay a, a small portion of your tickets in most cases uh, and get your license reinstated almost immediately. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on the wind.